Hey everyone, Jason Shepard here of M0A.com and slow flight is one of those maneuvers that I am positive you've got to have down pat private, instrument, commercial, it doesn't matter. You've got to master your slow flight. Let me let you in on a secret. If you're struggling with your landings, maybe your slow flight really isn't up to par. Today, I'm going to show you slow flight in the clean configuration, meaning without flaps. Tomorrow, we're going to release that video of slow flight in the dirty configuration, meaning we're going to use flaps. So let's go ahead and I'm going to show you guys some slow flight in the clean configuration. All right, guys, we're up in the cockpit. Slow flight, clean configuration, meaning no flaps. So we're, well, we're just about level here at 3,000 feet. Let me fix that here. Let me get us on a, uh, let's do a due south heading, make our life a little bit easier. Clearing turns are already complete, but you know, I'm a big fan of just looking sometimes, making sure everything looks good. And it sure does. Um, all of that is set. All right, so what I'm going to do is first things first, I need to slow this airplane down. I'm going to do that uh, because I'm not fuel injected. I'm going to go ahead and turn my carburetor heat on and I'm going to smoothly bring this power back. Why do we practice slow flight? Why in two different configurations as well? Well, you guys know from my Secret to Perfect Landings book that right before touchdown, you're basically in a modified version of slow flight, right? So what we're going to do is I'm just bringing power back and I'm pitching for airspeed and I'm pounding for altitude. I don't want to just yank it on back because I'm going to end up climbing. I'm going to take some of that inertia and turn that into a climb. I don't want to do that. But I'm just going to bring this yoke back. I'm watching my vertical speed indicator. If I'm showing a little bit of a descent, I'm adding some power. I'm powering for my altitude. I'm pitching for my airspeed. I'm getting to at the end of my group arc. Why the green arc? Well, because it's slow flight in the clean configuration. And you guys know how I love trim. I'm using some trim here in this case as well. Trimming that on back. You hear that slow warning horn? And I'm trimming us back here. Holding 3,000 feet. Holding south. Guys, I want you to get to the point where you can just about let go of this thing. And it's going to hold itself there. Okay? That is where I want you guys to be. Now, Losing a little bit of altitude. Let me give it some power here. Giving it some power. Really not touching a whole lot. As I add some power, I'm going to need to hold a little bit of right rudder. That P factor is going to want to turn me over. Now listen, this is so important. This is what I want you to grasp in slow flight. My ailerons are doing just about nothing for me. Look at what I'm doing here. My ailerons are hardly doing anything for me. Why? Because there's hardly any air flowing over that wing. Give it a little bit of power break. This little descent I got going on. So you're going to get asked to do turns in slow flight. Well, to do a turn, you can give it aileron, but it's it, it, it's not safe. You're so close to the brink of a stall, you don't want to aggravate it anymore. So what I want you to do instead, let's do a left turn like one, two, zero, verify clear left, and I'm going to give it a little bit of left rudder. I mean, the aileron's going to kind of take care of itself. You can give it some, but it's going to really take care of itself now. Keep in mind, what about that horizontal component of lift? In a turn, one wing is producing more lift than the other, so I might need to give it a little bit of power, which I'm a little bit under my altitude. I'm going to give it a little bit of power and make that adjustment there. All right, we're coming around. Look at guy. I'm really not touching anything. I've got that trim set. I'm doing most of the footwork here. We're staying nice and coordinated. Here comes a one, two, zero. Just wings level there, and just like that. Real, real simple. Let's do the same thing. Let's um, um, make that turn over to the right now. Let's just do like a one five zero. Making that turn to the right. A little bit of right. I'm working against that P factor, so it's going to take a little bit more effort to work my way uh, over that side. All right. There we go. Coming around, coming around, coming around. Everything is looking good. Looking good. And... Just about 150 and rolling out. Recovery is super important, guys. You're still being graded on that recovery. So what I need you to do on that recovery is real simple. RP comes in if it's not in already. Smoothly apply that full power. Remember how much trim you've got in there. So you're going to have to take that trim out. You have to really push that nose down. You're still being graded. Get that nose to level. Build up that airspeed. And then bring that throttle back to a nice cruise RPM setting. It's really just that simple. Locked and loaded on 3,000 feet. Slow flight, clean configuration. Tomorrow, we're gonna, I'm going to show you slow flight in the dirty or landing configuration. So you'll be able to 
uh, check that out. So in the meantime, guys, if you have any slow flight questions, don't hesitate to reach out to me. You got the email. Uh, you can leave me a comment down below this video. I want to hear from you guys and how M0A.com is helping you in your flying and maybe some video requests you have. So, uh, guys, enjoy the rest of your day. And most importantly, remember that a good pilot is always learning. Have a great day, guys. See ya. Hey there, if you think this video was good, you're going to love the over 400 other videos inside our exclusive members only online ground school. Ground school academy members enjoy weekly live webinars, mock check rides and customized written test prep. Ground school academy members not only have access to the number one rated online ground school, but also the best guarantee in the industry. Pass your check ride or we'll pay for it. Visit groundschoolacademy.com to learn more and become an online ground school member today.